The first Martian sunrise brought not just light, but a profound realization. Survival was no longer enough. The pioneers knew they had to build more than a habitat. They had to build a legacy. This was their chance to create a new chapter for humanity, a beacon of hope amidst the stars. The spirit of exploration surged within them, a testament to the indomitable human spirit. The pioneers were more than astronauts. They were visionaries, builders, dreamers. They carried the hopes of Earth on their shoulders. Each step on Martian soil, each experiment conducted, each structure built, was a testament to their commitment. The red planet, once a symbol of the unknown, was becoming a canvas for human ambition and ingenuity. Commander Sarah, we are not here to merely exist, but to thrive. Our mission extends beyond survival. We are laying the foundation for generations to come. Her words resonated deeply, igniting a shared passion to transform this alien world into a second home. The journey wouldn't be easy, but the pioneers were ready. The expansion of the habitat was paramount. It was about creating a sense of home. Commander Sarah spearheaded the initiative. A sense of permanence was crucial for morale. Every new module was a step towards that goal. Lucas, the engineer, worked tirelessly. His designs maximized efficiency and sustainability. Solar panels captured energy for the colony. The habitat was the heart of their world. It housed living spaces, labs, and a hydroponics garden. Food, the essence of life, was a top priority. Lucas designed an advanced hydroponics system. It used minimal resources to cultivate a variety of crops. Maximizing yield while minimizing waste was crucial. Lucas, we've built a system that can sustain itself. It's a game changer for our colony. Dr. Evelyn studied the Martian soil. She experimented with nutrients and light for optimal growth. Her dedication was paying off. Dr. Evelyn, Seeing these crops thrive is more than just a scientific achievement. It's a sign of hope for our future. The first Martian-grown vegetables were a victory, a significant step towards self-sufficiency. They were no longer entirely reliant on Earth. Each harvest brought them closer to self-sustainability. Dr. Evelyn's expertise extended beyond agriculture. Her research into Mars's geological history was critical in understanding the planet's evolution and its potential for supporting life. She analyzed rock samples, meticulously mapping the planet's ancient waterways and uncovering evidence of past climates. Dr. Evelyn. Each rock tells a story of Mars's past. By understanding these stories, we can learn so much about how this planet has changed over time. Her discoveries were groundbreaking, revealing a Mars that was once warm and wet, possibly even habitable. These findings ignited the imaginations of people back on Earth, fueling dreams of one day terraforming the Red Planet. The data she collected was invaluable, providing insights into climate change, planetary evolution, and the search for extraterrestrial life. Dr. Evil. Our work here isn't just about science. It's about understanding our new home, and ensuring our future here. By unraveling the mysteries of Mars's past, they hope to secure their future on it. Each discovery was a piece of the puzzle, bringing them closer to unlocking the secrets of this alien world. Section five, Guardians of Health, Pioneers of Wellbeing. Dr. Amir, the colony's dedicated physician, faced unique challenges. He was responsible for the physical and mental well-being of the pioneers, a task made more daunting by the alien environment. He meticulously monitored their health, adapting medical protocols to the challenges of Martian gravity and radiation. His research into the effects of prolonged space travel on the human body was groundbreaking. He developed innovative treatments and preventative measures to counteract the physiological changes caused by low gravity and exposure to radiation. His work was crucial in ensuring the long-term health and survival of the colonists. Dr. Amir understood that mental health was as important as physical health. He established counseling sessions, organized recreational activities, and encouraged the colonists to maintain strong social connections. He knew that a sense of community and belonging was essential for their mental well-being in the face of such extraordinary circumstances. Despite the challenges of their new home, 
The pioneers understood the importance of human connection. They organized movie nights under the stars, sharing stories and laughter that echoed through the Martian night. These moments of camaraderie became increasingly important, reminding them of the beauty of human connection. Music filled the habitat, a universal language that transcended the boundaries of Earth and Mars. The sound of familiar tunes brought comfort and joy, momentarily transporting them back to Earth. Musicians among them found inspiration in the Martian landscape, their music reflecting the awe and wonder of their extraordinary surroundings. Birthdays were celebrated with Martian sunsets and homemade cakes, each candle representing a victory against the odds. They celebrated Earth Day with renewed appreciation for their home planet, vowing to protect it for future generations. The pioneers were not just surviving, they were building a new culture, a tapestry woven from the threads of their shared experiences and dreams. Section 7, Bridging Two Worlds, Sharing One Dream. The pioneers established a robust communication network with Earth, sharing their discoveries and experiences with the world. They conducted virtual tours of the habitat, allowing people back home to witness their progress firsthand. Schoolchildren gasped in awe as they interacted with the pioneers, their questions fueling the flames of curiosity and imagination. Educational programs flourished, inspiring a new generation of scientists, engineers and explorers. The pioneers became symbols of human ingenuity and perseverance, their journey a testament to the power of dreams and the importance of STEM education. The communication went beyond scientific reports and data transmissions. Family messages were shared, bridging the vast distance between two worlds. Loved ones on Earth sent messages of support and encouragement, reminding the pioneers that they were not alone in their endeavor. These virtual connections were a lifeline, sustaining their spirits and reminding them of the world they left behind, a world they were working to ensure a future for. Section 8, a new chapter begins, welcoming the next wave. The arrival of the second crew marked a pivotal moment for the colony. It signified the permanence of human presence on Mars, a testament to their success in establishing a foothold on this alien world. The pioneers, now seasoned Martian veterans, welcomed the newcomers with open arms, eager to share their knowledge and experience. The habitat buzzed with renewed energy and excitement as the new arrivals settled in. The pioneers organized orientation sessions, familiarizing the newcomers with the habitat, the daily routines, and the unique challenges of Martian living. The knowledge transfer was seamless, a testament to the pioneers' dedication to building a lasting legacy. The arrival of the second crew marked the beginning of a new chapter in the Martian colony's history. It was a testament to the power of human collaboration, the culmination of years of planning, innovation and unwavering determination. The pioneers had proven that humanity could not only survive, but thrive on another planet, paving the way for a future where Mars was no longer a distant dream, but a second home. Section 9. A legacy etched in red dust. The pioneers, reflecting on their journey, felt a profound sense of accomplishment. They had transformed a barren planet into a symbol of human ingenuity and resilience. Their legacy was etched in the red dust of Mars, a testament to the power of the human spirit to overcome any obstacle and achieve the impossible. Their story became an inspiration for generations to come, a beacon of hope in an uncertain world. They had proven that humanity's reach extended beyond the confines of Earth, that exploration and discovery were ingrained in their DNA. Their success fueled a renewed passion for space exploration, igniting the imaginations of people around the globe. The pioneers of the Martian colony had achieved something truly extraordinary. They had not only survived, but thrived on another planet, laying the foundation for a future where humanity could expand beyond Earth and secure its place among the stars. Their names would forever be etched in the annals of history, remembered as the pioneers who dared to dream the impossible dream and in doing so changed the course of human history. Reflections from the Final Frontier 
As the sun dipped below the Martian horizon, casting long shadows, Commander Sarah looked up at the sky, a million stars twinkling. She thought of Earth, a distant blue marble, and felt a surge of gratitude. We came here seeking a new home, but we discovered so much more. The resilience of the human spirit and the power of collaboration. Her words resonated with the other pioneers, each lost in their own reflections. Lucas felt a surge of pride. We built more than just a habitat here, a beacon of hope. His words were met with nods of agreement, a journey that had forever changed them and the course of human history.